Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this lesson, we will see how different types of bioindicators can be utilized to detect different changes happening in different types of environment. As we said in our last lesson as well, that uh, for different environment, different type of bioindicator is best suited. Moreover, it not, not only depends on the type of environment, but also on the type of pollutant that is contaminated in that environment. So, based on both of these things, uh, the bioindicator is chosen. So let's see uh, what are different types of bioindicators and how those can be used and utilized. So instead of simply working as gauges of natural cha uh, change, taxa are utilized to show the impacts of natural surrounding or environmental change. Now um, we said that different types of living organisms can be used to detect the uh, changes happening in the environment. Now. Uh, different groups of organisms respond differently to different types of changes happening in different types of environments. So that's why if uh, one type of uh, organism, if it is suited, best suited in certain environment, it is not always the case that it will be chosen uh, to uh, indicate the changes in the uh, environment of some other type. So we have to see uh, which organism is best suited, which group of organisms are best suited to study different types of environments. They can also detect changes in the environment due to the presence of pollutants which can affect the biodiversity of the environment as well as species present in it. So basically indirectly we are checking the quality of the environment. Simplest case mein kya kar sakte hai? You can just count the number of species but again you should have uh, the basic knowledge of uh, the pollutant in the environment and the type of the environment. Now uh, we will discuss some examples uh, that utilized bioindicators to assess the quality of the environment. For example, Hasselbeck et al. utilized the most uh, hylocomium splendens as natural indicator of heavy metals. Inhone kya kiya? Inhone Alaska mein heavy metal ki pollution ko detect karne ke liye ek moss, ek lichen use kiya, jiska naam hai hylocomium splendens. In this study, lichens were utilized as biomonitors by utilizing the quantitative estimation of metal concentration inside individual lichens. Both are plants as a ability hai ke wo, uh, mukhtlif pollutants ko, mukhtlif contaminants ko uptake kar sakte hai from the soil, from the uh, surrounding soil and water. Uh, we discussed this in our previous lectures in phytoremediation as well. Uh, so some plants can resist high uh, concentrations of the toxics. Some can just barely uh, stand uh, only minor concentration of the toxics. Uh, but anyways, if any plant is able to uptake any types of uh, contaminant from the soil, that can that plant can be used to assess uh, indirectly the pollution present in that soil. So, you know, this plant use kiya. Here, the ore of mineral is mined from Red Dog Mine, the world's largest creator of zinc, and is carried to a singular street to storage spaces to on the Chaksi Sea. So what they were doing is that zinc mine se wo zinc nikal rahe the aur wahan se ek single raste ke through ek storage mein leke ja rahe the jo ke ek samundar ke paas tha so uh, these scientists try to find out that whether this passage of uh, the metal through this uh, uh, track is it affecting the life that exists surrounding that track or not uh, these scientists in inspected whether this overland transport was influencing the encompass encompassing uh, phys uh, physical biota or not. Contents of heavy metals inside the most tissue were analyzed at different distances from the street. Basically, what they did was that they saw that zinc mines are taken from this rest of the storage. Tak. So let's see that what is the passage of this eight gate life is disturbing or not. So they took the passage of the eight gate, which were most the plants. Se, in Kolia, study Kia, Deka, and Mikitna zinc uptake, who Kitna metal uptake, who And what they found is that ke, uh, Jitna distance Jada Hota Gia passes say Utna plants may, uh, moss may, uh, Utna zinc, Utna metal comes a come paya gya. It means that obviously uh, due to the passage of uh, this uh, metal uh, to the uh, dip, uh, uh, deposition site. Uh, the metal was uh, contaminated in the land. Jo eight plants the, unme zada uh, metal paya gaya. Jo door the, unme kam se kam. So clearly, the plants here, the moss here, indicated the quality of the environment. That the quality of the environment is being deteriorated due to the uh, presence of these metals, which are being uh, transported from the mine to the deposit site. Natural, biological, and biodiversity markers can be found in various organisms occupying different types of environments. 
لائکنس اینڈ برائر فائرس آر فریکوینٹلی یوز ٹو مانیٹر ایئر کنٹیمنیشن زیادہ تر لائکنس کو اور برائر فائرس کو یوز کیا جاتا ہے ہوا میں موجود جتنی پولوشن ہے اس کو مانیٹر کرنے کے لیے یہ چیک کرنے کے لیے کہ کیا کسی بھی جگہ کی جو ہوا ہے اس کی کوالٹی کتنی ہے کیسی ہے وی کین یوز لائکنس اینڈ برائر فائرس فار دیٹ پرپز وائی سو بیکاز دے ہیو ہائی سفیس ٹو والیوم ریشو and they can easily capture contaminants from the air so they are best suited to study the changes happening in the air for example uh, cyanophyta a type of phytoplankton is one particularly powerful bio indicator which is known to indicate rapid eutrophication of water bodies such as reservoirs lakes etc via the creation of bloom transformations jab eutrophication ho jaye lakes mein ya water bodies mein to ye jo organism hai cyanophyta اٹ کریٹس بلومس یہ بہت زیادہ گرو کرتا ہے اور بلوم کی فارم میں آ جاتا ہے اس کے میٹ سے بن جاتے ہیں وچ انڈیکیٹس کہ یو ٹروفیکیشن ہو رہی ہے اس واٹر باڈی میں سو یو کین سی ہی ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف لونگ آرگنزمس ایکٹ ڈفرینٹلی ان ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف انوائرمنٹس اکارڈنگ ٹو دا چینجز ہیپننگ ان دیٹ انوائرمنٹ سو وی کین یوٹیلائز ڈفرینٹ آرگنزمس ڈپینڈنگ آن وٹ کائنڈ آف انوائرمنٹ وی وانٹ ٹو اسٹڈی اینڈ وٹ کائنڈ آف کنٹیمنٹ اور وٹ ٹائپس آف چینجز وی وانٹ ٹو اسٹڈی so that's how we pick and choose different living organisms to study the changes happening in the environment this was about the utilization of bioindicators i will see you in next lesson